Hello, children. Me glad you could join us today. It's a beautiful day out here, and me hope it is wherever you're at. Let's talk about art. So first, we pose question. What is art? This is subject of many philosophical discussions, and we could talk about it for hours. However, me would like to finish this video within a month for a change, so we just defer to Oxford English Dictionary, which says, <coughs> the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. So two main things that separate art from non-art is made by a human and produced to be appreciated for its beauty and emotional power. So for instance, beautiful mountain isn't art, but painting of beautiful mountain is. Even though the mountain is beautiful, that's not the reason why it was made. And it was made by shifting of tectonic plates, not by a human. Painting of beautiful mountain, however, was made by a human for the purpose of expressing its beauty. Of course, this very human-centered way of thinking. After all, me not human, and me making art right now. So do you have to be human to make art? No, you do not. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? My name is Beefy Biden, and I am... a software developer. Okay, so if you software developer, what you know about art? Silly mortal, we no longer need artists to make art. Artists are soon to be obsolete, because thanks to the work of brilliant minds like myself, we can now create art with computers. Well, we've been making art with computers for quite a while now. See, me just made this picture of you in Photoshop. Ha, that's not what I mean, you simpleton. This isn't just art made with digital tools by a stinky human. This is completely generated by software. And I just use it to make this picture of you. That's certainly a picture. So why don't you go smoke some drugs, Mr. Artist? So I can teach these kids about something interesting for a change. Wow, are all software developers this full of themselves? Only the good ones. Oh well, me could use a break anyway. Go nuts! Now kids, a neural network is a computing system inspired by the biological neural networks that we have in our brains. It's based on a collection of neurons that send signals to other neurons and thus form different layers Hey! This is supposed to be kid show. Keep it simple. Ugh. Okay, kids. So we have a computer. What's and its name? What? What does that matter? Kid show. Ugh. Fine. Okay, kids. We have a computer named Steve. And we taught Steve how to recognize pictures. Steve spent a long time looking at pictures, trying to guess what they are. And we've corrected him every time he's wrong. After doing this for a very long time, he's able to tell you what's in every picture you show him. Next, we have another computer who we have hey. taught him. Ah! Next, we have another computer called Mark. And we taught him how to make pictures. He starts out creating random shapes and colors, and just like Steve, we keep correcting him until he actually draws what we tell him to. Then we put Mark and Steve together. Now that Mark knows how to create pictures, and Steve knows how to recognize them, Steve can tell Mark whether he's drawn the correct picture. This way, Mark gets better at creating pictures, and Steve gets even better at recognizing them, and so on, until Mark and Steve together can draw any picture you ask him to. For instance, I can type in, Daddy's stepping on me, and the computer will generate a beautiful work of art. Now hold on a minute! This is not art. What? <laughs> yes it is. This is computer following series of commands. That's not how art is created. Nonsense. This is exactly like humans creating art, based on whatever inspiration they are exposed to. Just because this is now a computer getting inspired and creating the art doesn't change anything. You yourself said you make art, despite not being human. 
Checkmate, liberal. Well, me might actually have to walk that one back. See, me actually have human hands inside me, controlling my actions. So it's basically just human making the art with extra steps. Whatever. Doesn't taste the fact that this is art. No, this is computer, working with whatever it's fat and doing what it's told. That's not how humans make art. Humans seek out inspiration and can randomly get it from anything. Stuff they've seen, intrusive thoughts, sexual encounters, you name it. And they will make art without anyone telling them what to do. Despite how financially inadvisable it is, computers are limited to whatever humans feed them. Human creativity, however, is boundless. Oh, boo hoo hoo. What? Who cares about all this hippie crap? It doesn't matter why something creates art. What's important is that it works. We can create the images we want without the need for artists. How are these computers trained again? I told you, you cretin. By feeding them images of artwork. And who created these images? I don't know, some assholes on Instagram. Who cares? Right, artists. These computers can't do anything if they don't have the humans to provide the art. Okay, fine. We need a few artists to get the thing started. So how are these artists compensated? What do you mean? Do these artists receive any payment for the use of their labor to generate these images? No. That's ridiculous. So basically, you're stealing from artists to create systems that take their own source of income away. We are not taking anything away from them. We just use their work to create revolutionary technology. They should be proud. They should be proud of getting their work stolen? Yes. Now these lazy liberals are finally contributing something to society. Hey, someone uploaded the source code of your AI app to the web. What? Yeah, lots of people commenting that they're implementing it into their own software. They're stealing my work? I gotta stop this right now! So kids, now we know what rude narcissistic snakes think of this topic. But is there anything we can do against computers stealing our art? There are companies getting into AI art who intend to compensate the artist whose work is used to generate an image. Whether this will be the norm, or if this compensation is going to be fair, remains to be seen of course. And even if it will, we need to do something against art theft now. So only thing you can do short term is tell your friends that AI art is lame. Fuck every person with a stupid AI generated profile picture. Withhold sex from your partner if they use AI art. Make it widely known that AI art is for losers and assholes. And no cool person would ever want to be associated with it. And from all of us here, me like to wish you happy painting and God bless. Hello children, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment because that really helps with the algorithm. If you want to keep up with what we're doing, you can follow me on social media. Links below. See you next time kids.